I know. Where's Jack? Jack is in Dallas, Texas right now. So is Wesley and Isla. But it's really good to see you guys. They're still on vacation. They'll be back on Tuesday. You guys will see them next Sunday probably. Um, but I'm back and I'm real excited to see you guys. <laughs> I have, uh, I have a, where's your puppy? I don't know. It's at home. It's at home. Okay. Okay. So I have a test that I want to do for you guys. Okay. I am, um, I'm going to, I'm going to have a few different people say a phrase. I'm going to have them say, good morning. And I'm going to have you guys cover your eyes and see if you can tell when it's me saying good morning and maybe when it's somebody else, okay? So I'm going to go around to some people. I'm going to have them say good morning. And if you think that it's my voice, you have your eyes covered, and if you think that it's my voice, then you raise your hand, okay? Can you guys do that? Do you think you can, you think you can take that challenge? So you're listening in all of these different voices to hear if it's my voice or somebody else's voice, okay? Yeah, so when you, guys, when you guys hear my voice, I want you to raise your hand, okay? You guys ready for the challenge? <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. You guys are gonna cover your eyes, okay? So cover them up, so you guys make sure you can't see, or cover them up, and I'm gonna go around to people and have them say good morning, and when you hear my voice, Raise your hand, okay? All right, let's do the test here. Good morning. No peeking, no peeking. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> that was it. Okay, Lila, good job. Good job. You got it. You knew, you knew some of the other people too. Yeah, so I went around and I asked some of the people. Some of, them were, some of them were men. Some of them were women. Some of them had deeper voices than me. So they said, good morning. And then some of them uh, had higher voices than I did. And you could tell, you could tell when it was me that was saying good morning. How could you tell? I could just tell because I did not tell you, I just heard you. You heard me, okay. Lila, how could you tell? Do you know? What do you think? Do you think it's that you hear me talk a lot? I think so too. I think so too. I think you hear me talk a lot. Uh, and that's probably why, because you guys are here in church on a lot of Sundays, and you get to hear me read the Bible and preach and talk, and I say hi to you on the way in, and I, get to, I come over to your houses sometimes and get to share with you. And so you know my voice pretty well. And when you hear it, you can think, oh, that's pastor's voice. I know that voice, right? Jesus said something very similar to his disciples, Jack, Jackson. He said... Um, he said that when they hear his voice, they will know it, okay? His disciples had spent all sorts of time with him. They had listened to him talk, listened to him preach, knew the way that he said things, knew the things that he talked about. And so when they heard Jesus talk, they said, ooh, that is Jesus. And just like you guys know my voice, you guys know Jesus' voice too. Even though you've never heard him speak uh, in person, you hear his word, and when you're at church, you know the things that Jesus says and the things that Jesus teaches through the people that talk to you, through the songs that we sing, through the Bible that we read. You guys are learning the voice of your good shepherd, Jesus. And the idea is this, that as you learn it, whether it's in Sunday school or church or at home with your parents, that you follow it, that you say, oh, I know that voice. That's the voice of my Savior, Jesus. He's the one that loves me. He's the one that cares about me. He's the one that gave his life for me. And so I follow him because I know how much he loves me. I know how much he cares for me. 
And as you grow older and older, you'll get to know Jesus' voice more and more and more. The more that you're a part of his church, the more that you read your Bible, the more that you pray and talk to him, the more that you will understand what God's voice is. And so you'll hear it and say, oop, that's the voice of Jesus. Or that's not the voice of Jesus. And so I'm not going to follow it. Okay? So that's your job as kids, is to get to know the voice of your Savior and your shepherd Jesus, because he loves you guys very, very much. And as you grow in him, you'll know his voice more and more and more. Okay? Let's, uh, let's say a prayer together, and you guys can head back to your seats. All right? Lord Jesus, we thank you for being our good shepherd. We pray that you uh, would help us to hear and know your voice that we would trust it and follow it because we know you love us and care for us so, so much. In your name we pray, amen.